you have returned. What is your desire? I'll get you something to work with. Lovely. You've brought me a bit of everything, and that's the start. When you've brought me twice as much, then I can begin. Are you kidding me? Twice as much? Why didn't you tell me that before? You must be hard of hearing. Perhaps you should get yourself a horn for your ear. I specifically told you that this was just to start with. You've given me enough to begin planning, but nowhere near enough to equip the entire guard. I must have more raw materials. All right, I'll get them. And if I find a horn, I'll save it for you. But I wouldn't count on me putting it in your ear. I don't have enough materials. I'll come back.
Sybil, can I talk to you? Yes? I'd like to ask you a few questions. What do you want to know? So then, any result from the study of all these creatures of the swamps? I observed that the rippers always hide inside objects, like a tree trunk, for example. They're quite slow and only attack from a very close distance. On the other hand, they can grab their prey and drag them towards themselves. The sickles have a power that depends on their growth. The biggest ones are the most dangerous. Up close, their attacks can be frenetic and extremely dangerous. They can also leap onto their prey. Have you discovered any new creatures? There are whip vines. I mean, I'm not very good at naming things and creatures, but that's how I describe what they do. When you go close to them, they whip out to strike you. What can you tell me about the World Heart? Many of the people on Vertiel believe that the World Heart is just a myth. There are many different beliefs from one region to another, but most of them have more in common than not. The World Heart is where life and prosperity are born. I've already heard that crap. If we were to imagine Vertiel as a living being, the World Heart is exactly what it sounds like, the heart of the world. It's what keeps the world alive. It beats, and Vertiel lives from its energy. If you wish, I can try to learn more about it. Come back and see me in a few days.
guys are dog meat. Their equipment still seems to be in good shape. Mason will be relieved that his men didn't make too much of a mess of their weapons and equipment.
I'll be right with you. That's what they always say. And they always end up with their flesh torn to pieces. Which is a real good reason to stop distracting me. Just leave that woman in this prison. We must find a way to free her from here. Sybil, do not do that. I know this woman. She is not here by accident. She is a witch. If you free her, we all run the risk of falling under the power of her magic. But father, we can't just let this poor person die here. It would be inhuman. Inhuman? That is exactly what she is, my child. He's the wicked one. Aeolus, is it not? He's the one who imprisoned me, with no food or water, and barely clothed. I what? You lying bitch! Don't listen to her! Father? She is trying to manipulate you. Use your brain, child! I'm begging you, get me out of here! I can't hold on much longer! You seem to know a lot about her. What the hell are you doing here anyway? The steward asked me to look into a dark power that has been affecting some of the villagers. Something evil. And my search has led me here. It is no coincidence. That cursed woman is the cause. I wouldn't expect him to admit to keeping a woman captive in the swamps for his own evil purposes. Nonsense! And so you just trotted out here with no escort. What, were you afraid we'd charge you extra? I came here as quickly as possible, yes. To stop you committing a grievous error. I was hoping that you would escort us back to the village afterwards. Without a supplement, yes. Seems to me that you are quite well paid. Who are you? My name is Edwin. The ignorant will tell you that I'm a witch. A sorceress, or even a necromancer. The truth is much simpler and more socially acceptable. I am, in fact, a magician. 
but neither as powerful nor as evil-minded as they think me. She lies to thee. She is hiding something, and it is not her body. You would say that. I beg your pardon. No, nothing. Believe me, she is powerful. She is evil, and she is a danger to us all. I've never been in the habit of just letting people die like animals in a cage, whatever their crimes may be. This woman doesn't look like a dead walker. That's enough for me. We'll take her back to Valvanor, and you can tell your stories to them. Stay away, you stupid girl! No! Fools! Leave her in that cage! Now meet your eternity. What are you doing to him? Let him go! Very well. You may have him. I am finished. Father? Oh, no, no! This can't be happening! You're gonna wish you had died back there in that cell, you sick bitch! Wait, wait! If I am to die, I wish to know who stands before me. I'm just a pissed-off mercenary who's gonna get his ass chewed out big time as soon as we get to camp. And since there is no damn way I'm letting you just walk away from this, you're gonna come with me. We'll let the other Red Scribes decide your fate. You're going to submit me to judgment before those madmen? They're no better than the monsters you fight against. Red Scribes, Ice Lords, they come from the same mold, and they want the same thing. Some are simply more successful in their efforts. Aeolus thought I possessed knowledge which he could use to become the equal of the Ice Lords. That's why he questioned me. So what? We're at war, and getting our asses kicked. We can't really blame him for trying to find a way to stop the Deadwalkers. Of course. It was for the good of all that I was captured and sequestered here in secret. It was to protect freedom that I was starved, tortured, and humiliated for weeks on end. It was goodwill and kindness that made him enslave a monster to guard my prison. <laughs> oh yes, I heard them, all of the screams. That beast did not lack for meat. No, indeed. Yes, in truth, the scribe was such a brave man that it was only for the happiness of his darling daughter that he tried to stab her. That's ridiculous! You are the monster! You're a liar! My father wasn't like that! A liar! You murderer! You'll pay for what you did! Sybil, wait! Witch. I suggest you behave yourself if you don't want to find yourself back rotting in that cell of yours. I'm far from finished with you. I have questions. Lots of questions. And you had better make damn sure I like the answers. So be it. Then I will tell you exactly what you want to hear, mercenary. You had the upper hand. Why did you decide to kill the leader of the Red Scribes? I desperately needed to replenish my power, so I drained his. My mood grows a bit murderous when I get too hungry, or when I spend too many days trapped in a filthy cell without so much as a toilet. Your friend was no hero. His aim was to reproduce the same ancient rituals that permitted powerful magicians to become the Ice Lords that we are fighting even now. He wasn't my friend. He was my employer and a very influential man. You could have spared him, 
giving credence to your version of events. But you chose to kill him, and thus any chance of them listening to you. He was a deceitful and manipulative man. No one would have listened to me. So I permitted myself the pleasure of preventing him from harming anyone else. The World Heart has had nothing but suffering from these magicians. I rejoice at this death. We need more like it. Your pleasure won't last long. I have to bring you to Valvanor, where both of us are going to be in a lot of trouble. And since you took it upon yourself to kill their leader, I think you can expect that the Red Scribes are going to want you dead. Do what you must do, mercenary. I'm your prisoner and will offer no resistance. Therefore, take me to your captain. My captain? We have a contract with the Red Scribes. If you have decided you'd rather end it all, I can do it right here, right now, if you like. Cleanly. Otherwise, your best move is to tell your side of the story to the steward. If he'll even listen to you. Ah, but there is the girl. What girl? Sybil? You're dreaming. You killed her father right before her own eyes. She's never gonna take your side. On the contrary, she will tell the truth. She will confirm all that happened here. We'll see. But whatever happens, if I go down, witch, I guarantee you'll go down even harder. Besides Alas, did you see any of the other Red Scribes? I was drugged before being brought here. Aeolus is the only scribe who came to visit me during my captivity. But his second in command must have known. Although I don't know exactly how much Aeolus was able to manipulate his puppets. If they are all as naive as his daughter, I imagine the temptation must have been great. The Red Scribes performed a ritual in an ancient temple. Does that mean anything to you? So that's the reason why he disappeared. The ritual was designed to augment his power. Had it succeeded, he would have become an accomplished magician, the first step toward becoming an Ice Lord. Given the ease with which I killed him, I suspect the ritual was a failure, or at least a partial failure. Let's just say the results weren't quite what he was hoping for. But something definitely happened. It was a burst of light, or maybe flame. This thing entered inside me. A thing? What thing? A sort of parasite. The Red Scribes told me it was a demon. Neither one nor the other, insolent boy. I bring thee flames. I bring thee the world heart. I bring thee the power. And thou wilt have hold me back with thy ingratitude and thy weak, pitiful body. Thou darest name me Parasite. Hello. You still here? Huh? Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, he's kind of sensitive. I must say, I have never heard of such a thing. It is, at the very least, troubling. The end result is I sometimes find myself wondering who I am. What I am. That is, when we're not arguing, or it's not taking control without asking me what I think about it. Then again... This is absolutely fascinating. I think, when we get the chance, we should talk about it in more depth. Meaning we undoubtedly need to experiment a bit. There is probably much to learn from this demon. We'll see. For now, we've got more pressing problems. Let's finish this discussion in Valvanor. Better get back before they send a battalion out to look for us. <laughs>